Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, last episode, or, well, I should have done a whole playlist, on how I got this living ship. The only thing is, this living ship hasn't got much going on with it right now, people. It's pretty blank when it comes to its organs and its chambers and its technologies and everything else going for it, to be fair. So... I'm going to be trying to get some more components for it. Now, there is an area of space where you can get components quite readily, but there's no point in me getting components until I can actually expand its storage space and its technology slots. And to do that, I need to get some living Leviathan frigates. So this video is going to be how to get living Leviathan frigates. OK, people, so let's jump into this, shall we? Now, as long as you've got yourself a capital ship and you've also got yourself some frigates, I mean, let's go and have a look at my frigate fleet right now. Now, there is a cap to how many frigates you can have. But let's just have a look at my fleet. So I've got quite a few. And as you can see here, they're all pirate vessels. I haven't got anything other than pirates. So what I might have to do is just dismiss a couple of these just to get rid of them for now. Yes, I'm going get, to get rid of a few. And we're going to go and hunt for a couple of living vessels. So I want to have a kind of even split, really, with pirate vessels and living frigate vessels. So here we go. I'll just get rid of a couple more. And that'll probably do. OK. All right. So I've got rid of a few. Right. So I've got enough now to go and get myself some living frigates. But how do you find living frigates and how do you go about doing that? Well, if you have been sending out your frigates on missions, eventually you're going to get given a piece of technology. And it's quite an interesting piece of technology. It's called the Dream Aerial. Now, I'm going to actually put this inside of my exosuit, so it's going to be fairly active the whole time. So I'm just going to get rid of these fire barriers for now. And I'm going to put in this Dream Aerial. To put in the Dream Aerial, you're going to need a solar mirror and a living glass. And you can find how to get the recipes for those on the No Man's Sky system app or Google, whatever. But anyways, there you go. I've put it in because I'm, I'm in creative mode right now. And that's pretty much it. So you can see here when you hover over, the Dream Aerial is slumbering. Pilot a ship into deep space and search for cosmic megafauna. OK, right. Well, I'm going to be doing this in another ship, not my living ship, because my living ship at the moment hasn't got much technologies. So I'm just going to swap my ship out for something else. Uh, yeah, oh, bear with me one second. I'll find a decent ship and then I'll reconvene. OK, well, I'm going to do this inside of my Starborn Runner because it's got decent pulse engines and it's also got a decent warp system. So anyway, let's take to the skies inside of the Starborn Runner. Starborn Runner was an expedition reward ship, so it was only available for a limited period of time. Now, the way the way you want to do this inside of space is in a system that is just a normal system. Don't do this in one of those systems that's uncharted, data unavailable systems or an abandoned system. It works better in a normal area of space just like this. OK, now all you do is activate your pulse drive. It tells you what to do just down in the bottom corner there. I've just got to get away from my freighter quickly. And then I should be out of pulse and we'll see if there's one inside of this system. It can take a little while to pop up and you can get other things pop up, not just this, um, these Leviathan frigates. But you can tell by the icon what it is. See that icon? It's got a frigate on it. There you go. And there we have our first encounter with a living frigate. Now, the first encounter you get, you're going to get quite a lengthy dialogue. And part of me wondered whether this lengthy dialogue was some sort of survey that Hello Games might have been doing inside of game. So anyway, here we go. I'll tell you what. I'm going to drink a bit of tea, but I'm going to slowly click through this, OK? So you can probably have time to read it. If not, just pause it. OK, right, here we go. I've had a bit of tea now. The whale-like creature opens its throat. A resonant lullaby sweeps over me, just like the living ships, really. Bathing my consciousness in waves of euphoria, 
The creature's voice grows distant. A strange vision manifests in my mind. I'm gonna look. I'm swimming with weightless limbs across an ocean of stars. A system of celestial bodies pulls into focus. Three worlds invite me closer. Yet I know my time is fleeting. Only one planet can be reached. I tuck my limbs in tight and I dive towards. You can either go to a bustling alien metropolis. Imagine that, home worlds or something like that. Idiom veined mountains are perhaps new ways of gathering resources. A mega fauna ecosystem. Well, I've got to go for that. I understand, Traveller. I begin to see you more clearly. Show me more. Anyway, you go through a series of these sort of questions, but it's that one that I thought might be some sort of in game survey. Cool. And then we just sort of go for what we want. Now, these options that you choose here. These options that you choose are going to set your stats for your living frigate. But you can feed the living frigates and change their stats anyway. So I wouldn't overly worry too much. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to choose a couple of different options. There we go. I'll go for Corvax. I think Corvax is one of my favourite entities, to be fair. Sweet. I mean, I would rather do analysis than most things, you know what I mean? Okay. And that's what we get. I'm just going to go for the top options now and just hammer through this, because it, it's quite a lot, to be fair. And like I say, it doesn't overly matter on the stats that you get. But there we go. We've got our S-Class first alien sort of living frigate with those stats which is pretty darn lovely add to fleet done so that's my first one now the next one all i'm going to do is jump systems in space i'm just going to go to another system that's fairly normal like that one you know it's not showing as data adapted or anything like that it's not a dissonant system or anything dodgy it's just a normal system Okay, chums, now something that you're going to need, as well as having the Dream Aerial installed, is you're going to need these anomaly detectors. Now, you get these anomaly detectors from shooting asteroids. The best places to find asteroids are either on a ringed planet, or you usually find asteroid belts fairly close to space stations. Okay, so we're going to try either of those two places and see if we can get some anomaly detectors. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, another way to try and find these things is to fly to a ringed planet and fly into the rings and you're going to find a shed load of meteorites. Keep shooting the meteorites and eventually you're going to get this strange anomaly detector. So here we go, let's just keep shooting all of these. Now I haven't tried this method before, it's just something that occurred to me that may work. So I'm just going to keep shooting a load of asteroids until I find one. Uh, it can take a good five minutes before one pops up. But you're just looking at the icons popping up above my head right now. And I'm looking for anomaly beacon or anomaly detector. It's something along those lines. It looks completely different to everything else. It's like a purpley, reddy colour. It's like a... It also almost looks like a Giver unit if you've ever watched the Giver cartoons. But anyway, I keep going. I'll let you know if I find one. Okay, people. Okay, in that ring of the planet... I wasn't getting much luck, so I've just jumped to a normal asteroid field in an affluent system. And I'm hoping that that might give me better luck. Because, you know, if it's an affluent system that's got better resources, then hopefully things might get a bit better for me. So I'm just trying to shoot space rocks right now. Some of these seem to be freaking invincible. Right, anyway, I'll just carry on shooting these and see if we get one, people. I'll let you know if I get lucky, I guess. Oh, be careful you don't shoot civilian ships. Okay, chums, I've spotted something very odd. Half of these, you can't shoot, and you can fly through now. I'm wondering whether, you know the floating island planets? I'm wondering whether some of the code for that is affecting these, because look, I can't shoot half of them. And I can just fly through them, and it does no damage to me. It's like they're fake rocks now. I don't know what to shoot and what I can't shoot. Oh, this is this is freaking ridiculous. Yeah, 
Look at that. I'm not actually destroying any. Oh, this is bizarre. How weird is that? Well, yeah, I was hoping to get an anomaly detector and use that to try and spawn in more frequent rates of anomalies. Okay, people, I just got one. I got an anomaly detector. It popped up on my screen. I've got, I've actually got two. So I must have got one earlier and, and not noticed. What I'm going to do, though, if this works, is I want quite a few of them. So I'm just going to go quickly duplicate these. I'll show you how it's done when I get on my freighter. You know what? While I'm on my freighter, I'm just going to send out some of these living frigates on mission. So if you send just one living frigate on a mission with other ships, it's got a chance of bringing something back. So I'm just going to send a, a very quick mission out and see what happens. So here we go. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to send out um, one of my S-Class organic freighters, or frigates, sorry, and a a couple of my pirate ones. There we go. We'll send those. That do. And launch expedition. Boom. And then I'll choose another one that's only a quick one. There's another 30 minute one. And I'm going to send that organic figure out. And I'm going to send a couple of these with it. Sweet. There we go. I'm just going to send those on their way. Right. Oh. Uh, so if I go to my base door, where, where is my base? Is this my base? No, it's not my freaking base. Where is it? It's just here. Got it. I'm just going to hit a save anyway. And then if I get my portable items, which is this little guy here, stick that there. Then go into my ship storage, which is there. I should be able to find those anomaly beacons or anomaly detectants. Stick them in there. And then get another one of these and put it directly on top of the other one. Like so so that, that's pretty much it and then stick another one on top and another one just as for as many as you want to duplicate basically I do now pick them up I should get a load of those anomaly detectors righto I now I've got quite a few of them or I should have anyway people so let's have a quick look see anomaly beacons where are you have they gone into my normal inventory space now? They probably have, haven't they? My normal inventory. Ah, where are you, anomaly detectors? Where have you gone? Or have they gone into my freighter? Let's have a look. I'll find them, and then I'll come back to you. Oh, there they are there. I've got 14 of them. Cool. I'll put them into my exosuit. Right, well, let's get back out there, and let's use one of those anomaly detectors and see if it helps at all, people. I'm just going to hit another save. Well, let's see if this works. I don't know whether it will, but it's worth a crack, isn't it? So I've got my Dream Aerial installed, located. And now if I go down to here, I should find that uh, beacon that I just stuck inside of my normal exosuit storage. If I can find the dang thing. Come on. There they are right there. You know what? I'm going to move these to the top so I don't have to go hunting for them again, people. I'm going to stick them right next to my dream aerial. Okay, right. Let's initiate one. Begin scan. Okay, it's searching for its host. And let's just pulse. And let's just see if this helps. See, every single time it detects something, it's going to tell me what it's detected. It'll have a little icon. And all I've got to do is just look for the living ship one. No. So I can ignore that. Ignore that one. I'll we'll see if we get another one. So rather than it just being taking ages and ages and ages for another detection, I'm hoping this can just loop. And hopefully I can find these things a lot freaking quicker. OK, let's come up with another one. It's not the living live. This is a lot easier, people. All right. Well, I'll let you know. I'm going to use my whole of my pulse fuel and we'll see if we get any living vessels appear. We'll just do one more. Let's just let's see if third time is a charm. Let's see if third time lucky. And see if this works. Because if this works, this is freaking awesome. Okay. I'll well, we carry on and I'll let you know. Yes, people, it worked! I guess. Boom. Let's go and have a look at this little critter. Hello there, chap. Hmm. Okay. 
Now, I'm not bothered about class, really. I mean, oh, that looks nice. I'm more into the look of the things. So here we go. Let's get that one, then. Inspect. I mean, they do level up as you send them out on missions. So it's all good. Except, OK. Now, if you do want to just find S-class ones, you can jump onto you know, somewhere like Reddit, somewhere like that, and go to the Interstellar Index, and they will sort of let you know where they've found S-classy type ones. Anyway, I'm going to jump to another system, and we're going to do that again. OK, chums, I went to town and duplicated a heck of a lot more of those doohickeys. So here we go. Let's, um, let's do this, and let's start pulsing. And I've actually jumped over to the NMSA 905 hub to do a little bit of fishing. I'm at my planet with the floating islands. So yeah, I want to give it a go here, see how we get on. Ignore it. Just sit back and relax until you see a living frigate icon up here. OK, I came across one on my floating island planet area of space. So here we go. I'll give you the coordinates for this one, people. And then at least you do want to put a base here. You know, you're inside the NMSA also. So we go, let's jump on in. Let's have a quick look, see, shall we? Sweet. Oh, I like the tentacles on this one. It's got nice long streaming tentacles. It's a C class, but I, I like the look of it. So I'm going to accept that one, I guess. Now, if you do want to come here yourselves, people, for multiple reasons, you could be in the 905 hub. There's also an awesome floating island planet here. And it's also got that space whale that you just saw. I guess. Come grab it. Brilliant. Hey, okay, chums, we have another one. Brilliant. Let's go on over and let's go get this one. So I think you get the idea now on how to actually get these guys. I mean, look at the actual trails on that one. That one's epically cool looking, isn't it? Let's go get this one too then. Inspect creature. It's a C class. Not fast. And added to fleet. Right, well, I'm going to carry on doing this and get some more. Oh, if you want that one, here you go. There's the coordinates in the lower left corner. This is still inside of the 905 hub, my own sort of hub range, at least I think it is. Um, but yeah, jump on over. Make yourself out to home. Until next time. Well, I won't say until next time. I've still got stuff to do. All right. So something to mention, people, is if you've come across these systems, the ones that are uncharted, the data unavailables, I haven't had any luck in finding them inside of these systems. If you do, that's fine, but I steer clear of those ones. I go to the ones that have got pretty much everything listed, like that. That looks perfect to me. I'll be going there to take a look for one. So all I'm doing is jump into a new area of space, hitting begin scan, and pulsing. And of course, you've got to have a dream aerial, which you get from you know, sending out frigate missions. This is just a recap on everything you need. You get these things from shooting asteroids. You have to shoot a shed load of them. I didn't have any luck in shooting asteroids on a ringed planet. I had to shoot them in an asteroid field in space to get mine. And then I duplicated them. But yeah, I mean, you could spend ages doing it the long way. And then all you do is you ignore these until you actually see one that's got a living frigate icon in there. And it can take some time. You've got to have patience. Have patience. I'm a saint. And there you go. I've got one pop up right now. That's what it looks like. And you get like 15 odd seconds or so. Just boom. Exit warp. And that was probably about the fifth, the fifth detection in space. So, yeah, I've had them in the third, fourth. I've had them in like the 12th, you know. I've, I've sat there and waited for almost my whole freaking fuel to deplete. So... Don't, don't expect it to happen too soon into doing the pulsing. There we go. Let's um, have a look at this one. Pretty nice. Another C-class. We'll take it. Thank you very much. Righto. So I'm going to carry on doing this. Now, I think it still works inside of creative mode as well. So you can always put it in creative if you haven't got the unit. Uh, but yeah, there we go, people. That's pretty much everything I've got for you. So... Next episode, people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a load of frigate missions and then we're going to debrief them and see what we get because we need to get some storage expansion slots for our living ship. And I can't remember whether it's the sacks or the other things that you get. There's two items that you get, the Cygnotic Egg and there's something else. One of them actually expands your storage and I'm hoping I get lucky. I'm hearing that they're as rare as Rockin' Horde Turd, so we'll see how we get on, people. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Steve Cat